so girls today i will start with the life cycle of netum okay so we will start with the reproduction now first we will study the reproductive structures of the netum so if you remember uh, the cycus plan it is heterosporous okay it produces two kinds of spores cycus as well as uh, pinus so the cm netum plan also it is heterosporous meaning it produces two kinds of spores the microspores that is the male and the megaspore that is the female the pollen grains are produced in microsporangia i will just uh, go fast fast girls in this case because we had already studied in cycus and uh, pinus so it's the same okay they are the microspore whereas the female are the megaspores okay and these are produced in megasporangia or what we call the ovules now the plants of uh, this plant of netum the most of the species they are dioecious okay meaning the male and the female strobili they are produced in male and female plants respectively the male are produced on the male plants whereas the female are produced on the female plants so but rarely the strobili are bisexual they are produced on the same plant okay but this is very rare and the strobili they are long unbranched either branch or unbranched okay and they are produced in the axils of the leaves on terminally terminally on the shoots okay in the axil or they are produced terminally on the shoots so i will show to you other pictures of both the male and the female uh, the male and the female spores now each strobili okay each strobilus whether it's a male or a female it is referred to as the inflorescence and the reproductive organs they are referred to as the flowers so that is why they resemble angiosperms okay so the male and the female strobilus they are referred to as inflorescence and their reproductive organs are referred to as the flowers now the inflorescence or the strobilus they consists of a long jointed axis okay as you can see these green uh, you can see here in this picture also they consists of a long jointed axis having differentiated into nodes and internodes and each node it bears two opposite sterile bracts okay and these bracts they fuse together and around the axis forming a cup like structure okay forming a cup like structure called the collar cap the collar or also known as the cupule and the flowers they arise in holes in the axis of these cupules so here girls i will show you for example this one okay you can see here the male flowers so it is this one which uh, i had explained just now that the inflorescence or these are the strobilus as you can see they consist of a long jointed axis having differentiated into nodes and into nodes okay so the space between each uh, of these bracts they are referred to as the uh, into nodes and you can see here that each node it bear two opposite sterile bracts which fuse together and around the node forming a cup like structure so you can see here many cup like structure one above the other okay it is due to the fusion of these sterile bracts they form a cup like structure known as the collar or the cupule and you can see it is in the axils of these uh, bracts the flowers they arise in holes Okay. in these cup like structures you can see these white white flowers these are actually the male flowers and i can uh, show the female flowers see you can see whereas the female flowers they are quite huge as compared to the male flowers and even these female flowers also they arise on these uh, sterile bracts okay the cup like structures they arise from here but as you can see here one 
of the female flowers this big one here it has become a seed so that we will study later but i just want to show you the difference between the male and the female flowers you can see this picture here uh, this one also it shows the female flowers okay they arise in these cupules or the color the cup like structures so first we will talk about this uh, male flowers now okay if you talk about the male strobulus or the male flower the male strobulus is also referred to as the male cone or we can call the staminate strobulus or we also called it a male inflorescence and it arises either in the axil of the leaf or terminally at the apex of the shoot you can see in this case as this one it arises okay terminally at the apex of the shoot okay so these uh, male strobulus it consists of a long slender and joint axis which possesses about 10 to 15 cupules okay so these cupules which are joined together they are about 10 to 15 in numbers and these cup like structures the colors is formed by the fusion of the whorls of bracts okay the bracts at each node and the space between these uh, cup like structures is called the internode and these they are arranged one above the other in a close holes due to the suppression of the internodes okay so i hope it's clear just by looking from this figure the male flowers they are arranged in holes and there are about three to four holes each bearing five to forty male flowers around okay so you can see these white thing here they are nothing but they are the male flowers around the axis just above each color so you can see in this cup like structure just above the color this cup like structure these white flowers here they are the male flowers and besides there are about one or more holes of functionless female flowers okay so we will talk about this i will show uh, one more diagram for you because here in this uh, male cone there are the presence of functionless female flowers okay which lie above the holes of the male flowers okay so just uh, take a look at this uh, first diagram here so the same thing here you can see that the uh, male flowers okay they are arise Okay, terminally at the apex of the shoot in figure A you can see so in figure B you can see these uh, corneate bracts which fuse together to form the uh, color or what we call a cup like structure okay and on the on on these cup like structures we can see these uh, male flowers which arise in holes so the figure C here it shows a single male flower okay the enlarged picture of a single male flower that white flowers which I had shown to you earlier just now in the previous video so this is the enlarged picture of a single uh, that white flower male flower in figure C so each male flower as you can see here it consists of a stalk right it consists of a stalk and two unilocular anthers okay unilocular meaning single chambered two unilocular anthers in young condition actually these male flowers they remain enclosed within a shed like perianth okay a shed a covering a perianth meaning a covering which covers the flowers when young but when they are when they become matured what happen the the stalk it will elongate then it will push these anthers beyond the collar after splitting the perianth okay so when they push so you can see the anthers now they are outside the perianth with a stalk but uh, let me just show you this figure b here you can see that the anthers and the stalk you can see they are enclosed within a perianth right so this 
they are enclosed when they are young but at maturity the stalk will elongate pushing the anchors to the outside beyond the collar so the perianth meaning this covering okay the flower covering it is formed by the fusion of two bracteoles and thus a mature flower we can see it consists of a young a uh, long stalk with two terminal unilocular anthers but the number of anthers they may vary from species to species okay they vary from one anther up to four anthers so it depends from one species of netum to another species the number of anthers they vary and there are some uniseriate hairs okay the hairs also are present at the base of the male flowers so just remember that the hairs also are present and each anther with a single locule is filled with many pollen grains as you can see here in this figure b you can see the perianth okay the covering the sheath and you can see the microspores meaning the micros the pollen grains they are enclosed within a within a microsporangium okay this microsporangium is referred to as the locule okay the chamber which will carry these microspores so we can see that many microspores or pollen grains are present within uh, these two microsporangium or the locule so this is the structure of the male flower now uh what i want to explain is how the how this microsporangium it develop okay how it develop and how these pollen grains or the microspores are formed